I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm tired. But you know, I was thinking though, like I'm telling myself, like, isn't it an excuse that I'm tired or is it a fact? I mean, the reality of it is like mentally, yes, I'm tired, but mentally I also can do it. So I'm just on that verge of like trying to stop making excuses, like stop making excuses for myself. So it, it's right now I'm really determined like to get myself, like just to get myself together mentally. I'm really hurting right now, but at the end of the day, I'm still gonna push myself to try to do four miles. Um, I don't know if it's a guarantee, but at the same time, like me getting out here and just fighting through this, this the, these excuses is just something I wanted to share. It's crazy. This could be good for me. Lately, I was feeling like I need a purpose. But when you talk to look, y'all, I swear, look, I'm not trying to be like no, like no fitness guru or like no, no fitness influencer. But at the end of the day, like I haven't ran a four, I haven't ran four miles straight in a long time. So for me, like getting up this morning, being tired and like forcing myself. Uh, to get up and as y'all can see like if you look at the lake like this lake is huge and um, my goal eventually is to like is to run the whole lake um, but that being said y'all like I like like everything that works for me definitely not going to work for the next person but all I know is that sometimes when, when we see somebody else effort and see what they going through no matter like bad or good like that can be an inspiration um and i know for a fact like if if i'm watching anybody you know and it's hard a lot of people say like you like some people don't watch influencers like the thing is when some people are even not trying to be an influencer and and they're just a regular person that's walking down the street um or that's riding a bike um and you see that person doing it and you become motivated off of that so at the end of the day like yes i I know some people and, you know, and sometimes I do it as well. I'm really not like an influencer follower, but at the same time, if you think about it, I am. Like I am. If I watch somebody, the average Joe and they doing, and I get motivation off of it, then, you know, it's, 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 it's influencing me. So that being said, like, I just, I, I really, like I really need people to understand. Like sometimes when you, whenever you feel like there's, and I reiterate this a lot, whenever you feel like there's an excuse, like find deep down in your, in your, in, inside you and look at that excuse as motivation. Because when we sit back and we, and I said it before, when we sit back and we start to belittle our own self, you know, it, 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 it can either push us or it can either destroy us. You know, stress can go two ways. Like it can go like stress that can destroy you or stress that can uplift you. So. I'm a firm believer in that. I'm not gonna talk y'all head off, but I just wanted to show y'all like, I, I, I really didn't feel like it this morning. And I literally got up and uh, ran halfway um, around, no, not halfway, I'm lying. Like, I think this I think this late like 10, but I ran four miles. So that's good, man. Um, all right, y'all, if I can do it, y'all definitely can do it.